Out and About is a monthly student-produced feature focusing on events and people here in Johnson County. This week on Out and About, we are taking a look at an indie alley cat from Greenwood. Many people don't know Ultimate Frisbee is the fastest growing sport in America. From high school to college, club, and professional teams, many people are finding a way to get involved. Travis Carpenter is one of the many guys helping to grow this sport. He is a part of Indy's very own professional Ultimate team called the Alley Cats. We are here to take a look at how he got involved in Ultimate and made his way to playing with the professionals. Uh, it was kind of weird. My friend uh, Clint Carson, who's the guy that you'll probably see in some of the video clips throwing with me, um, he, was, he was a good friend of mine in high school and um, he's, he captained the B team actually for Center Grove. And so um, we were in study hall talking one day and he was saying how you know, they have no athleticism on the team and me and, my, me and a buddy of mine that were in study hall with him just got done the soccer season and so he knew we could run a lot so he basically asked us if we wanted to play and brought us in to run a two-man zone. And that basically meant that um, we were trying to uh, annoy the thrower the whole time. And so basically, as the throwers would swing it from one side of the field, me and my friend would just literally sprint from one side of the field just trying to block them and annoy them and make them to force them to make bad throws. And so that was literally the whole reason we were recruited is because they, they needed more people and because they needed people who could run more. Um, so I got, brought in, I got brought into it like that. And then from there, I just started... Uh, every once in a while, you know, if we'd get the turnover, you know, I'd get to go down and run down a score and things like that. Started to have some fun with it and learned how to throw on my own, just practicing uh, how to throw forehands and backhands and stuff like that. And uh, ended up just falling in love with it. And we next year we got really official and went to the state tournament and stuff and got a coach and all that. And I tried out for our team and made the A team and then just took off from there. Honestly, about halfway through high school year, half, halfway through senior year. Um, I would say me and two or three of my friends were kind of uh, on a, up, I would say probably on a different level than the rest of the team. A lot of the team, a lot of our teammates were a little bit newer and not as dedicated and stuff. And me and uh, two of my friends, Clint and then my friend Zach Maynard, were both really into it. And we were practicing all the time, throwing and training and stuff, and just more dedicated. And so we ended up just playing on a different level. And so we wanted more than what our our high school team had to offer. And so we teamed up with some guys from Martinsville. And so we teamed up with them and decided to see what we could do in the club and college arena. And so we went to that next level and went to some local tournaments where a lot of older guys played and stuff and did pretty well and ended up making a club team that played in the summer and we called it Infamous, and which is still around today and is getting more and more competitive. Um, and so we ended up playing with them right out of high school and played in the summer right after I graduated. Um, played in a tournament uh, over in Ohio and stuff like that and got really excited about it. And then from there, um, one of my coaches named Keenan Plew graduated from Center Grove as well. Um, he was constantly uh, pulling me aside and, and throwing with me and stuff like that. He's also a teammate of, of mine on the Alley Cats now, ironically. Um, but uh, he was you know, teaching me whatever he could, helping me throw, um, telling me about all of his stories at Ball State Ultimate. And so I uh, kept telling me to try and go there. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to go there because of money. So what I ended up doing is I actually made the drive to Ball State probably two or three times a week, which is like a little under an hour and a half um, for the entire fall semester and went to tournaments with them. I would say once I got to college ultimate, um, at first I was basically going off of any natural ability or athleticism I had. I didn't really have a whole lot of knowledge. I was just basically listening to whoever I could and I was just trying to be the one to make sure I was trying really hard and I was just running as much as I could and diving and things like that and I wasn't really playing with a whole lot of, I don't know, a lot of experience and a whole lot of uh, knowledge and so I was basically going off of what I had naturally and I uh, ended up impressing them a lot and, um, and so once I started to learn things from them they you know, invited me to a lot more A-team practices and um, I got a lot more personal one-on-one -on -one time with a lot of those guys and they taught me a lot about the game and gave me some experience. And in the middle of the fall, the Cats tryouts came out. And um, a few of them were going, and I just figured I'd go to the tryouts at the least just to get experience. I mean, I didn't even think I had a shot in the dark at making it. And so I just went, and um, I did really well, I guess. Um, the tryout period lasted for probably three months. I made every single cut. And, um, and by the time I made the team, the entire time, I was just I was thinking that I wanted to run as hard as I could. I wanted to train as hard as I could. I wanted to throw as often as I could, just so that just simply so that I could go to the tryout and not be embarrassed. Like, it wasn't even, my mindset wasn't even on the fact that I was going to make the cats. It was more so just so I could at least keep up. And it turns out that all that hard work paid off and I ended up, you know, going, training harder than a lot of people did and ended up passing up a lot of guys that 
uh, were, used to be better than me. Um, one of the coolest parts about being on the Alley Cats this year was that we actually picked up a player called Brody Smith. He knew that this league was going to have a little bit of trouble getting off the ground, and uh, if you don't know anything about Brody, he is basically the face of Ultimate right now. Um, so it was really cool to get to play alongside him, and he's got a lot of experience, and he's won nationals twice, and he plays on an extremely good club team, so I learned a lot from him. I would say as far as the Alley Cats, um, I plan on playing with them as long as humanly possible. Uh, I just had so much fun this past year and learned so much that there's, I just don't want to give it up. And uh, I mean, the fact that the sport is growing so fast and that you know professional ultimate is just now rising up is just such an amazing opportunity. So I just want to ride this out for as long as it can possibly take me. about. This has been Carrie Grubb.